I've come out to the desert for a high-pressured stunt that requires serious heat. And I've invited four volunteers to witness something sensational with a bottle of bubbly. Champagne. Yep. Power. <laughs> um, You're not supposed to put it in the microwave. Yeah, Champagne so doesn't good. work so well in a microwave. Oh my gosh. Not yeah. So I've got the microwave hooked up to my car battery there, and the plan is to start it going and heat up the champagne. My question is, what's going to happen to the champagne? It's going to explode. I don't think it's necessarily going to explode, but I do think the microwave's going to heat up the liquid inside and pop the cork through the metal. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to be a big explosion of bubbly, like a big oh. bubble bath of champagne everywhere coming through the nice. vents. Nice. Oh, your ideas are Okay. <laughs> so champagne through the vents, big bubble bath. Everywhere. Okay, cool. Love it. Dude. Um, I think it's the wrapper's going to catch on fire and, and the champagne's going to put it out. Come on, you can do it. Press go and we'll go over there. Come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Start. Quick, go. <laughs> this way. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone here has a different theory. But what will happen when the microwave heats up the champagne? Will the cork pop? Will the bottle label catch fire? Will the microwave explode? Or will it create a champagne bubble bath? Now, let me tell you, I'm not taking any chances here, so we've backed away from the microwave to enjoy a spot of lunch and see what happens. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes down and nothing is happening. You hear something? I thought I did. Oh. What was it? Ten minutes down and, well, the champagne must be boiling by now. I'm going to relax. I don't think anything's going to happen. Oh, my. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? It destroyed the microwave. Oh, you were ah. oh my god. Wow, OK, Where well, can I just I point know. something out? That was a bottle of champagne, a microwave, nothing else. And what happened? Exploded. So one of our group got it right. It may have taken a while, but the microwave exploded. The question is, why? OK, champagne bottle is actually pressurised to a huge, massive amount of pressure about 80 or 90 PSI. To put it into some sort of context, that car tire there is about 30. So it's three times the pressure inside the champagne bowl as there is in there. Then what happens when you heat a liquid, as we are doing with the microwave? What does it do? Spins. Like a kettle, right? It starts to boil and it turns into a gas, so it gets a lot bigger. Because champagne bottles are specifically designed to withstand great pressures caused by fizz, the pressure inside is able to build up far more than it would in a standard bottle. But after 10 minutes, the pressure is just so great that it's even pushing the champagne bottle to the limit. It's growing, it's growing, it's growing. Now, the champagne bottle's sitting there going, all right, OK, I can deal with this. I can, I can deal with this. This is kind of more than I expect. And then all of a sudden, it gets to a level where it's so high that it just goes, all right, I give up. Bang. It busts through the glass, punches through the microwave. There's nothing that's a match for that huge amount of pressure. And that is why you can blow up a microwave with a bottle of champagne. Thank you very much. High fives. So, it couldn't be clearer. If you want to crack open a bottle of bubbly, just pop the cork as usual. And don't put anything in the microwave that doesn't belong there. <laughs>